Today I want to show you guys 5 material tricks which I learned over the past few months which helped me a ton in UFN. From animated materials to how you can actually apply grass to your materials and so much more. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. The first one on this is texture data and this one is pretty cool especially in UFN because Fortnite or Fortnite Creative does give you a lot of props and stuff which already has materials applied and a lot of stuff is already pre-made basically. And what texture data will allow you to do is change the stuff to your liking with your own materials without destroying any of the information that was given before or even worse decreasing the performance of your map. So for example what you can do with texture data is for example change the spillage sign here from the I think it's the racing gallery into this custom called Jonesy billboard. You can see here for example if we click on the billboard here this is from the racing gallery the Apollo Street billboard one um, but if we click on aesthetic mesh here you can see that we have the materials here. And we can technically now just go here and just change the material to whatever we want. We can just select something, but it will give us a warning and says assigning this material uh, may affect performance. Using a texture data property will result in better performance. So we're not going to touch that and we actually switch back and actually apply the texture data. And you can see now that we have the texture data here in the main um, instance, we can change that. So we can click on here, but usually if you click on here, we do not have anything in here. I already created the Jonesy stand, so I have this Jonesy one in here and I can just click on it and it would just change into the Jonesy one. So how do you even create a texture data? So you can right click into your content browser and then we're going to click on miscellaneous and we're going to select the data asset. And in here we will be graded with two options. Obviously the first one, a building texture data is the one that we need. So we're going to click on that. We will be graded with a little window here, not too many options. We have an override material slot. So this one is for actual materials. So you can basically put whatever material you have and it will still work. Or you have these just image ones, which basically if you just have an image or like for example, we can click on here, you can see we have the, the wood texture. We have the normal of the wood texture. So for example, we selected all of these. You can do this with obviously your own things. If you have custom images, for example, if I go in here and type in Jonesy, I could select a Jonesy one. It will work the same. Now we can close this out and we can see that if we click on our billboard again, we have a primary slot here. Now we have the option of the custom asset that we just created. So we can just put that in here. There we have the wood texture. And you can especially do this with Fortnite meshes very well because for example, this one, the speaker, I think it's from one of the music galleries. Um, we can do that here as well. So let's just select the, the wood. And that is obviously a very nice way in how you can customize the meshes that Fortnite gives you to your liking. Number two on the list is something that probably most of you guys run into by now and that is that you saw the Fortnite materials and really want to know how they're made or just wanted to change a few things here and there and sadly if you click on them you will greet it with the uh, fail to load assets because these are read only which means you cannot open them. However Epic actually thought of this and does give you a few options to customize them because a few things are necessary to change at some points so you can actually do that in these materials. But the first thing you have to do is create a material instance of these. So how you can create a material instance is also fairly simple. All you have to do is just right click on them and you see the option to create a material instance here. And if you do that, and if you do that, you get a second material, which is the instant of the original one, which then allows you to obviously click into it. So for example, the first one right here, the ocean level vertical offset will allow you to basically change where the material sees where the ocean starts. And this is very interesting for example, the sand material over here. If you change this, let's say to minus 100, um, you will see that the sand obviously changes more to like an underwater look. So you can obviously play around with this, but there's actually one material which I highly recommend turning into an instant, and that is actually the material for the roads. All right, so if we quickly go into landscape mode and then we click on the road here, um, we can see that we have the spine meshes here and we also do have textures for them. So if we quickly go here and then we can, uh, for example, overwrite the material here. But the road materials are obviously read only, so you have to create an instant first. So I recommend just clicking one of them, whichever you like. You can use the straight, you can use the transition, whichever one fits the best for your needs, obviously. But if you create an instance, you can put it in here and then you can click actually into it. And in here, you can actually change quite a bit. Not only does Fortnite give you a debugger here, so for example, you can see which ones are messed up and which ones are doing good. So for example, these are all looking pretty decent. But it doesn't only allow you to debug, it also has, for example, the options to change the road line. So if you like more of a pink tone on your road lines, you can do that in here as well. Um, you can even change the outside of the lines here. So the edge lines, you want them to be blue or 
purple, I guess. It is super helpful. You can, for example, also change the texture of the roads here. So if you want more of a wood texture on here, we can do that. Obviously, that doesn't fit at all, um, but you know what I mean. So you can really be a little bit more customizable in here than you could with the landscape. Number three in the list are physics assets, and you can actually use a little bit of physics inside the UFN, even though we cannot use a lot, but you can use them, and there are some that are pre-given, and there's a little trick in how you can create your own. But first things first, how do you actually get these physics materials onto your materials. And it's pretty simple. Most of you guys figured this out probably by now. Um, you can basically click on anything, like for example, a landscape, and then you, for example, have a physics material slot here. You can then select, uh, for example, we want to make this ice. And now, and now you can see that basically everything in this world has turned into ice. And it doesn't matter where we are, everything is ice now. So for example, to make only the sand slidey, we need to go into the layer info of the actual layer that we have and change the material in there. So for example, you can see here, if we click in the landscape mode and to on the sand tab here, we can see layer three, layer info, and then we can click on this one, which basically shows it where it is inside of the uh, folder of the UFN folders. Um, we can click on this and then we can also apply a physics material here, as you can see. So for example, if you want to have the sand on lava only, then we can save this make sure that we push the changes. And if we go back to the game, we can see that we're still sliding on the grass because we didn't change it. But as soon as we touch the sand, we have the physics of the lava, which is obviously really cool. But with everything that Fortnite gives you by default, um, if we click into the physics assets here, you can see they are all read only, which means we cannot click into them. However, if you have the Unreal Engine installed and just make a default one inside the Unreal Engine and migrate it over, all right, so you can see this one came from the Unreal Engine and it is a physics asset and it is a nut read only and we can actually click into it and basically change a few things. To be fair, it is not crazy much and you need to have the right assets to actually use these on. So for example, if you go down to the surface types here, there's a bunch more different uh, surface types which we don't have usually in UFN. I'm not sure if that is intentional because you cannot technically make these in UFN, but if you want to be a little bit creative and want to play around with these a little bit, if you find something that works with these, that is definitely a cool way to do it. So next one on this is something that I got requested a lot is on how you can create animated or like moving materials. And creating this is actually fairly simple. All right, so for example, if we take a look at our little rotating holy glowing orb here, um, you can see that it actually is not a lot which you have to do. Matter of fact, you probably need even less to just make it move. So for example, we don't need all of that. We don't need the, the hue shift color. We don't need that. Um, and we can just simply plug that in here. Matter of fact, we don't even need that here. Um, we can just s remove that and we still have a rotating orb. And a simple set, we can just switch that out with, for example, our Jonesy sign. There are basically just a few nodes which you need to make things move. For example, the pen Panner is one of them. So you can see here that Panner will basically allow you to rotate in, for example, the X axis, the Y axis, or both at the same time. So for example, if you want to make this rotate a little bit more in different directions, there's another one which is called Rotator, which you can also technically use. But mainly if I animate, and I'm not a material expert by any means, I mainly use the Panner one, and then obviously switch it up with things that are different. So for example, if you now apply this and save this, and let's, for example, apply this to something that we just learned, and that is, for example, change changing the billboard here. Um, I already created a data asset with the new texture. And now if we put it on here, you can see that we have a moving billboard, which is really cool. Something super easy to do uh, and can really spice up your materials. And the last and final one is probably even more important in UFN than it is in the Unread engine. And that is how you can create grass slash any foliage basically that you want. We do not have a foliage mode, so how do you do this and it is even possible? All right, so you can see right in the background, we have a custom landscape. Grass, nothing special, it is just normal grass, but it obviously doesn't have any physical grass. There's nothing that is actually, you know, standing out from the ground. There's no rocks, nothing on it, but we can actually attach grass or basically anything we want to have on there, um, just like foliage. Obviously, you need a custom material for landscape. You have to make that yourself. All right, so I'm just gonna open up the grass material. All right, so I'm just gonna open up the grass material here um, and then we can just look for an empty spot here. And the first thing we wanna do here is actually nothing in here. We can do something in here, but um, we need something else for this. And the first thing we're gonna look for is actually grass. And there is something that is called the landscape grass output. We can just plug that in here, um, but you can see that it only has one connection and we actually need to put a grass type in here. So I already made one here, but I'm quickly going to show you how you can make one yourself. 
and you probably wondered how you can use this because you probably stumbled across this under the foliage tab here there is a landscape grass type and you can just click on this and then you can actually click into this and if you click on this little plus icon here you will be greeted with a bunch of options and also a grass mesh. So here, so I'm going to show you this with this code, for example, and um, we can change all of these. So you can change them to your liking. You will see that in a second what these, these will do. Um, and we're going to make sure that these are off here. So we're not going to crash while recording. And then if we go back to our material here, um, we can just drag out from this one and we're going to look for a landscape um, sample here. Um, we're going to name this grass. We're actually not good to go. We have to go and actually apply the material here first. That is important. And um, but from this point onward, we're actually good to go. We press apply, press save, and now if we go back here, you can see that it now has placed all the cones here, basically as grass. And so now, for example, if we open our landscape grass type here, and um, we can actually play around with these. Around with these. So for example, we can have the density of the grass. So if we just want to have a few of them. Uh, we just have like that, or if you just want to crank it up, we can have a lot of them. Quick side note, while we're on the topic of grass, there's also a way how you can make the grass windy. Um, there is a function which is, uh, you have to, first of all, in UFN, it's a little bit different than in the normal Unreal Engine. You first of all had to click a material function call, and you're gonna click in here, and then you're gonna look for um, a wind. Uh, so simple a grass a wind would be the one that you're looking for. You have to put this into your actual grass. You don't have to put this into the landscape material, but in your actual grass texture, so the grass texture can actually move with the wind and you, then you have to attach obviously everything correctly. This is a bad example, but you know what I'm trying to tell you. These things are actually possible inside UFN. This is not the Unreal Editor. You can actually create that um, within the materials for the grass. And that wraps it up. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you guys back in the next one. Bye.